through KROVFM Radio. Yes, 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 San Antonio. Global listeners, yes, this is the days. Right now is the time that you will want to tune in. I have two millionaires sitting before me right here. And if they're not millionaires, they ought to be millionaires because they're doing things just like a millionaire would do it. But most of all, they're the king kids. So why not? Be a millionaire because they're serving the community. They've been, they're walking in the purpose that God has created them for. And what more can I say? Who am I talking about? I am talking about the CEO of Cross Point right here in San Antonio, Cross Point Inc. Incorporated. Uh, we're talking about Mr. Kevin Downing, and we also have. A uh, gentleman by the name of Mr. David Lopez, who graduated from Cross Point, and now he no longer on the level where he started, but he's sitting up high. But most of all, as he sits up high, he yet gives God the praise because he's walking in the purpose that God created him for. I, I can't say too much more, but I'm just so glad that they're back with us. And also, Mr. Kevin Downey. You have the floor, sir. Talk to us. Tell us about Cross Point for those of that were not here, was not listening the last time. Give us some insight on Cross Point. Thank you, Ambassador. First of all, I am so happy to be invited back here, uh, and this time in the company of David Lopez, who has a great story. Uh, makes anything I say pale in comparison. But I do want to say about Cross Point is that we have been serving this community for 50 years. This is our 51st year of providing transitional services for formerly incarcerated citizens, for uh, homeless veterans, for men and women who suffer from substance abuse problems, from mental health issues. Uh, we have been doing these transitional services uh, across the community and uh, we have the support of so many people in helping these citizens become productive, independent citizens once again. You know, Cross Point. Mm. How did you come by the name of Cross Point? Well, actually, when they started out, Ambassador, this was called uh, Halfway House of San Antonio. And it initially was for uh, men and women who were released from state uh, hospital who had mental health issues, and it was a transitional home. And then in 1992, the uh, board of directors, because the scope of services had changed so much um, to include outpatient services, they thought the, the name of the company, Halfway House of San Antonio, was just too limiting. Um, Crosspoint, as I am told, was brought about uh, from the symbol of a compass and people finding a point in their lives where they can take a different path yeah. with proper guidance, uh, which we hope that we provide the guidance, hope, and resources that get people moving in a more productive path. Okay. You know, and the amazing part about it is, is that you're in a place that used to be where nuns used to live. That's true. So the place is prayed up. <laughs> I, mean, it's, I mean, you got prayer going through. You got angels walking around there. But you know, the amazing thing about it is that you're helping the community, and there's so many people that are concerned uh, about their loved ones and about uh, what can they go, what can they do. Is it all over for me? But you're encouraging them, and you have set up a school function, and most of all. Brother, I walk, when, when you invited me to the place, I walked through there, I'm like, ooh, I know where I can come <laughs> shopping at now for clothes. <laughs> you don't have hand-me-down clothes. You got some good clothes, man. You got, mmm. Yeah, Myra's Closet is uh, in the summit, and uh, we don't have clothing in that particular facility for women. But the men from our various <laughs> facilities, whether it is uh, Hall House or one of the other places, they get to come over and... Uh, through the kindness of Men's Warehouse, we have suits, uh, some new, some gently used, and then new shirts and ties for every single man who comes through our program. And they come through and some of them, perhaps for the first time, have a, a nice suit and we help them actually color coordinate. It's almost like Brooks Brothers in there. Well, they, they get to get two ties and two shirts to go along with that. And they use these uh, for job interviews go to church with family, 
uh, if there's a wedding, a funeral, they get to show up All right. dressed appropriately rather than what they showed up at our door with. Okay. Now, location. I mean, you have a location off of Yukon? We do. We do. That's the big one. And you have other locations here in San Antonio as well? Yes, we do. We have uh, one facility in uh, Monte Vista. Mm -hmm. uh, we've been there since 1967. Uh, we have another one in the Madison Square Park area. We've been there since 1983. Uh, we have another one in Government Hill. We've been there since 1993. Uh, and then, of course, the, the big one, the summit, over on the east side. And as you said, it's very, uh, you're filled with the spirit walking in there. Uh, there's a lot of times I feel like I'm walking with the sisters when I'm going down the hall, even though they moved across the street. You know, and talking about Cross Point, uh, how can one get involved, get into Cross Point? Well, uh, most of our referrals uh, come through the Federal Bureau of Prisons, but we do have other programs. We have folks, that, again, that are referred by the Department of Veterans Affairs. Um, we actually do take some uh, people who are off the street, indigent, that we do mental health or substance abuse outpatient services for. But our latest program, and one that I think is really important to talk about today, yeah. is uh, when I was on the show last time, we had just opened the Recovery Support Home. And this is a totally community-supported program for women who were homeless, went into substance abuse treatment, addictions wow. treatment, and they completed treatment, they're in early recovery, and do not have the resources to live independently. And if they couldn't come to Crosspoint, these young ladies, would end up either on the street, in a park, living in a car, uh, back with an abusive husband perhaps. And I want to just share with the listening audience, we really are pushing hard to make this go. In the 11 months we've been open, we've served 55 women. Over 80% of them who were indigent when they got to us were able to go out and live in stable housing once they graduated from our program. On May 23rd, we are doing uh, an awareness raising event. Uh, Shearer Hills Baptist Church stepped up and asked if they could host an event just to tell the community how important it was that here's a service that really is not available elsewhere. This is not just like a sober living home where people just pay a rent and live there. We have staff 24-7. We provide meals. We have a, a master social worker on site. This is an important program for the community. and. We would certainly welcome anybody to jump on our website, uh, give us a call, and see what they might be able to do to help us at the Recovery Support Home. And that's a good point right now. What is your website and phone number? Our website is www.crosspointinc, that's all one word, dot U.S. Uh, the phone number at uh, the summit is 210 210-225-0864. Now, you know, I'm, I'm talking to him, you know, as I said before, I'm talking to two millionaires. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because, you know, the, the scripture says that in Hebrews 11 and 1, now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Mm -hmm. So you have people that are walking into Cross Point, broke, busted, disgusted, downhearted, but they're looking for hope. They're looking for security. And... The services that you provide them, you're giving it to them to be successful. And today we have Mr. David Lopez that is here with us and who has been to Cross Point, came in, went through the classes, and now look at him. God has made a change. So we're going to be right back with you right after this. Ladies and gentlemen, in the background, what you're hearing Right here on KROV, 91.7 HD2 FM, uh, musical instruments of the William Brothers. And I'm still here. And you're still here. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go away. We'll be right back right after this. Here's Mary Mary, the God in me. Mm -hmm. 